Um, so what I'd like to do here is um, uh, tell you a little bit about um, where our healthcare system is, and many of you are quite familiar with that, even the students in this room. Um, explain how nurses can help, and not only help, but really lead the charge in many ways in this country. And I want to share eight of my own personal goals with you as to what I think it's going to take to improve the future of nursing so that we can improve the quality of patient care in this country. Goal number one, I think that um, nurses are, are doing a lot to develop nurse-led innovations, but I think they can do even more. I think sometimes nurses need to be given uh, permission uh, sometimes to, uh, to take the reins and to be entrepreneurial and to create solutions, but no matter where you work, you can do that. So um, the, the second goal that I think that we need to attain to um, get to a better future of nursing for all of us um, is to engage in research. And you may not think of yourself as a researcher. You know, maybe some faculty don't, don't even think of themselves as researchers. Um, but, you know, all of us should be in our own way because you always want to show the link between nursing and high quality patient outcomes and that's how you, that's how you really do it. The third one is we, we must do more to redesign education. And here I am at um, uh, Texas Christian University and um, you know, who am I to tell you? You're doing a, a fabulous job, right? But uh, you know, we can, always, we can always do better. So the other thing I think we need to do is really embrace technology. And you know, there, there's so much technology um, in hospitals and home health care agencies now. Um, and um, you know, some of us are, who are sort of getting over the hill um, really need to help nursing students uh, embrace the technology. And really, it's the nursing students who are helping the faculty embrace that technology, right? Um, so um, I, I think it's interesting, too, that more and more nurses are getting involved in um, social media, as I call it, uh, Facebook and uh, Twittering as well with patients. So I think that's quite interesting. And then number six, foster interprofessional collaboration. I think we need to do much, much better uh, with this. It's, it's quite interesting the way we don't collaborate as well as we, we should in this country. And I know a lot of it um, uh, has to do with how people are paid in this country. And there's tensions between physicians and nurse practitioners and certified nurse midwives. And you know, it's all around power and pay. But um, we need to do a much better job of focusing on that patient and what's best for that patient. Number seven, develop leadership at every level. And what I mean by that is um, no matter where you work, no matter who you are, whether you're a frontline nurse, whether you're a school nurse, whether you're a chief nursing officer, whether you're head of the public health system in this country, um, everyone can be a leader. And then finally, this is a real big bugaboo of mine, be at the table. You've got to be at the table. You know what? Decisions are made by those who show up, right? Decisions are made by those who show up. It is, um, how many times have I said mind-boggling and unbelievable here tonight? It is unbelievable to me how many decisions about health care are being made, how many decisions about patient care is being made, and there's never a nurse at the table. My final word to you is be the change you want to see. If you want to see, if you have a vision about how things can be better, how things can be changed, just be it, just do it. Be the change you want to see.